happy uh, February. <laughs> I think this is going out the day before, actually, but it's time for my February play with me. It's going to be pretty much the same as what we had for January. Um, this is what we have as our finished product so far. Um, I still have a couple more days. I'm filming this a little early. I'm just going to start to set this off screen slightly. And I've got the printables for February all set up. Um, I just found this at Michael's the other day, and I think I'm going to try using a stamp. I've never done stamps in my planner before. But let's give it a shot. So these are the Create 365, the Happy Planner thingies. Because, you know, whatever, why not? Um, and, goodness, which side are they supposed to stick to? I guess they're sticking to, yeah, that makes sense. February is up here. There we go. And, nope, I grabbed January. I can't read backwards. It's February. I'm not a super experienced stamper. Um, I just want you to know that. I'm thinking I might pull out these guys and see if that works. I'm going to have to do 20 and 19 separately. Okay. I'm trying to check if that looks like it lines up to me. It does not. It kind of looks okay, though. So I'm probably missing out all of the techniques. You're probably supposed to go like this. February 20... And then, I don't know if it matters which side of this you do either. All right. Also, I haven't used this ink pad in a long time, so hopefully it's uh, still wet. Yeah, it looks like it's fine. Oh, no. Hope that this works. I honestly cannot see the ink on here. Alright, if it doesn't work, I can just trace over it, right? And then I will wait for you to comment below what I'm doing wrong. Woo, weird. Alright, that could have been worse. <laughs> I'm uh, just got a piece of scrap paper on the side here. I'm gonna... Try it off. And then grab the 19. Should we go again? Twenty nineteen. Look at that. Uh, just a little bit of an edge there. There we go. Stamps, right? I've been thinking about stamps for a while. I think I'm gonna. I keep saying this, like I'm gonna talk about a thing, but then I oh, know I'm gonna do it in another video, so I don't want to talk about it now. Um, I kind of want to trace over it because it looks a little bit patchy. So I'm just going to do that and fill it in. That's legitimate, isn't it? And it kind of makes it look like I did it on purpose. Or that like I'm good at lettering, which I'm not really. And okay. Where does the time go? I keep forgetting what date it is. I'm going, no, it's not already. The end of January. It's 
crazy. Right. Um, that, okay, so I was going to say, I've been thinking about getting stamps for a while because things like icons and I don't know, stuff, pl buying planner stickers that you just use for like one thing and then like, I don't want to have to get a whole sheet of stickers that say laundry. Like what if I run out of laundry stickers before I run out of trash stickers and I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. It makes more sense to just have a stamp with the icon. So if I want to do, you know, because I'm not good at doodling either. If I wanted to have an icon for something, I could just use a stamp as many times as I need to. But then I guess also there's a learning curve for stamping. There we go. It kind of looks stampy, kind of looks hand done. But at least it does, one can never argue against the fact that it does actually say February 2019. So, um, I think, I think I might do this in color. Oh, I did it in color last year, last month too. February starts on Friday. Nope. There we go. I'm stopping at twenty eight, see. You know what I need to put in my future log are the dates for Ash Wednesday and Easter and stuff. I looked it up once and I have completely forgotten. No idea. I feel like Ash Wednesday doesn't even <laughs> happen until March this year, but I could be completely wrong. It could be next week for all I know and I'm just completely blindsided by it. I have to decide what I'm giving up. Okay, this month I'm going with this selection of washi tapes, um, mostly this one is the theme. I liked this one, I got it for a dollar in the dollar washi bin at uh, Michael's. thought it was cute and I like opportunities to use it so here we are. Pretty much like I said just mimicking exactly what we did last month. Got this little credit card thingy that we, it's not a credit card. I've explained I never go to Ulta and if I do I always have my, cell, my phone number. This is just a plastic card. I barely wear makeup anymore. I probably should buy new mascara, but who listens to those anyway? I won't care until I get pink eye and then we'll be like, ah, oh, you should have a long time ago. Okay. Uh, same stuff on my tracker. Uh follow along. I've been doing terrible with the vitamin D. These are the vitamin drops for my baby. Yeah. And then these are just pray at all, clean something, create anything. Though I keep forgetting that one. I'm going to drop photo because I pretty much I take photos of the baby almost every single day and I don't really need to track it because more or less I kind of forget and then I actually mark it on the tracker less than I actually do it but I do want to remind myself to post some of them to my personal Instagram sorry guys it's only for people who I know IRL um, where I post pictures of my baby Right. 
I've got super pod liners. This red matches pretty well with this washi tape. Do the same thing here, but I'm using a color last month. The color I used for my headers, you cannot read at all. Like it's it contrasts very poorly. So we've got here and stones. That's cool stuff that my baby learns how to do. And then this is the monthly goal for the month, which I haven't decided yet. You know, that's what that's for. Okay. This side is events, and this side is tasks. Okay. And then I've got, I think what I should use for this one here. Okay. I'm going to put this here. I put it away. Why did I put it away? Definitely need this out. That color actually matches really well. This one, it's so similar as far as like coloring, but if you can actually tell the background is actually blue instead of black on this one. So if that matters. But that looks good. I believe these both came in the same package. Shout out to Mackenzie if you watch this. Hi. This were a birthday gift for my cousin. Um, this one, I don't know where this one came from. This may have been a birthday gift last year. Most of these washi tapes are from Michael's. Um, I'm going to mark off, I think I have one day off for, is it President's Day that's in February? The 18th. Here. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to pull out this and just test. This is the red friction colors marker. And we'll see, does that look correct? Yeah, I guess so. I'll leave it for now, because whatever, but I'm going to stick this in my pencil case that comes with me that has a few. Uh, I need to have the marker that I'm using for my tracker with me so that I can actually fill it out, otherwise I'll never get around to it. I have to be home. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull out my, uh, this pull out guy, it's my future log. I went ahead and colored in this side um, for January based on the color of my monthly. I think I'll do this in here just to sort of mark that February has come and been, or at least everything on here has been moved over, which it will be in a minute. Mm -hmm. There we go. And I'm just gonna copy all of these things over. Um, oh, first, mark off my weekends on both sides here. Mm, 
paying attention, not talking. 324. We could actually. Ooh, how would that be if I use a little bit of fun washi tape to cover up the dates I don't need at the bottom? That would be nice, right? This cute one with the black and white flowers. My eclectic washi selections for this are probably a little bit too busy, but whatever. I don't really have any that match that nicely each other. So I'll just use what I've got. It doesn't really matter that I cover up the dates that we don't need at the bottom, but, you know, it's a spot to add a pop of color, so why not? It's February, you don't always get that choice. Alright. Yeah, that green and blue is really sticking out like a sore thumb, isn't it? Okay. Uh, okay, we've got appointment here. Schedule the next one. Got a task. Got that marked. having my wisdom tooth pulled. Finally, I thought for the longest time I had two, but I guess I only have one. And it sprouted years ago. It was fine, but now it's really starting to fall apart in my mouth. So, we're uh, going to have that taken out. Shouldn't be too hard. And then I've got the next insert here is my birthdays insert. And I've got some stuff marked for February, so I'm gonna fill those in. It's my mom's birthday. Uh, also, my goddaughters. And my grandfather in laws. There we go. And then the next thing I'm going to pull from is this recurring tasks list. Got two. Okay. Internet. Bill, pay the mortgage. Don't want to forget those. Take seven month photo, baby. Don't forget the julep window. Change your razor. Change your sheets on the 
the date. I finally just did it today. Um, I'm blanking on the day it is. It's the 27th. There we go. I'll put it here then. Change. It, it basically gets done at any point after it's marked on here. Um, so since we just did it here, it was marked on the 13th. That's how long I've been putting it off. I'll fill it in, mark that it's been done, and then I mark the date that it needs to get done next month. I probably won't end up doing it at all in March because of that, but whatever. I'm realistic. I'm a pessimist. All right. Uh, let's see. Need to order more vitamins. These come in a 45 day supply, so I have to make sure to mark when it needs to getting done, you know. Uh, let's see. Yep. And then I'll mark the other things. There's some things on here that are just marked with a dot, meaning they have to get done sometime during the month. Um, so. Inbox. <laughs> I keep writing this and it's never going to get done. And then baby journal, that's a thing that, again, might be a video topic someday. All right, I'm going to add some things from here, maybe. No. I can think about picking. I don't know. I need to pick what my monthly goal is going to be. But in any case, this, I think, is good for the monthly. Um, I, have to, I have to go pick up the baby who just woke up. Um, but after that, I'm going to set up a new annual... No, what's it called? Recurring tasks or this, this one. We're doing this next. Wow, that little silly pants was not happy for like two and a half hours. Um, she's back on another nap. So I um, have, I've done a whole video on this spread before, but my plan, you can see that the purple here matches my monthly for January. Uh, so my plan is to just create a new one of these running to-do lists uh, for every month, regardless of when I finish, you know, filling it up. Because, yeah, just, I don't know, fun that way. And also it's less distracting when I'm able to get rid of all the things that have already been done. Um, but I'm not going to start moving stuff over yet um, because I still am recording this before the beginning of the month. So, But I'll have it in here ready to go and transfer everything over on February 1st. So these are my different contexts. And then I can assign tasks to each column and then look at the columns based on where I am. So these work pretty well. Does anyone else feel the same way when a, a to-do list is getting filled or um, checked off and so like every third or fourth task on there still needs to be done but you can't quickly at a glance see them all you kind of have to go down and pick and choose and it just feels like it takes longer to see what's going on I don't know that's how I often often feel as, as these lists are filling up that I want to go through and just get rid of all of the ones that are have X's that they're already done um, but yeah I can wait I can wait another week because also at the same time some of these things on here are actually pretty simple to do and so I definitely want to like power through and finish them up before creating the new list because that way my new list will have fewer things on it um, so that's my motivation. It worked when I had to move into the next, uh, over from my last list. I was focusing on getting a lot of stuff done on 
the one before it, um, which it helped me. It was good. Let's see. So it's just the same, same old washi tape um, in monthly. Tie it all together as a cohesive theme. And then I will keep um, the red mild liner in my pencil case with me so that I can categorize the tasks as I add them. Sometimes I'll kind of brain dump tasks on this list and then just categorize them later, which works pretty well. Is that look? Looks okay, right? I really liked how the uh, This purple marble washi, it fits so perfectly to combine things. And basically, it doesn't need to be color coded or decorated or anything. I just think it's kind of nice. Got a little, little visual interest. I mean, you probably do too, or else you wouldn't be watching. A decorative plan with me video on YouTube. So, I'll get that last one seem smaller, bigger. I don't know. Okay. Oh. There we go. All right, so the to-do list goes in place, ready for the next month. Like I said, I'll move all this stuff over on February 1st. And then I also have January here. I'll leave that in place and add, I already did, <laughs> add February here. That's what we've got. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe. I will be posting more videos as I always do and all of that. So I will see you in the next one. Have a good month. Enjoy your February. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.